Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are certainly privileged and excited to begin today's meeting with a celebration of our hometown university and their victory at the festival. The UCF Knights football team and university have made us proud again. Obviously, these achievements are never singular. They don't happen overnight, although, boy, this sure feels like it. And from the earliest days, I know we have all dreamed of what UCFP could become, um, but you have, again, you've exceeded our expectations. Dr. Hitt, you've exceeded my expectation in every way. So thank you so much for the partnership, for the pride, um, for excelling and exceeding our, our highest dreams and aspirations, and, uh, and giving all of us something to be incredibly proud of as a region and a community. <laughs> Mayor, commissioners, this is just fantastic. Thank you so much. We've appreciated your support over the years, and uh, I hope you have enjoyed a magical season. Uh, it, uh, uh, it was one of the great thrills of my life my, and my professional career to watch our team compete so well with Baylor. As you said, nobody really gave them a chance, but they went out and, and uh, really did a great job of showing Baylor a little bit about UCF and UCF football. Um, we do appreciate this recognition. We hope that uh, all of you here will want to buy season tickets. Um, you know, you get in a little message here. Uh, but uh, I, I have to say just one, one final thing about our team. Uh, I'm not sure exactly where everything uh, settles out. We're going we're gonna to do a little research on this and be sure. But I wouldn't be surprised uh, if we are uh, the uh, uh, very top academic achievement uh, team. Uh, in the final oh, 10 or 15. Awesome. We in Stanford were, we were second only to Stanford uh, in graduation rate among the 10 teams that played in the BCS uh, this year. Uh, so with Stanford now ranked below us uh, with LSU and Ohio State and a few other noteworthy programs, uh, we may well have, have, have emerged as the top academic institution in, in terms of the rankings. So we're very pleased with that. Awesome. It, it always comforts me to know that a good number of our student athletes, our football players, have not only finished their bachelor's degree, but are well along toward master's degrees as they finish their football eligibility. And I give Coach O'Leary, Coach Key, and all of the staff an, an enormous amount of credit for that. So thank you again for this recognition and your support. Uh, we appreciate it. Uh, and uh, all, you know, all I can add now is, uh, is go Knights. And I'd like, to, if, you, if you would indulge us to, to uh, have our athletics director, oh, Todd Stansberry, see if you were. Thank you. Uh, Thank you for this recognition. Um, I think uh, on behalf of Coach O'Leary, the staff, and the team, we have um, been really humbled by the people in the stands this year and the whole community really getting behind us. Um, I think the other thing is, and just um, to kind of piggyback on what Dr. Hitz said, ultimately our goal through this program is, develop, is to develop great community leaders and citizens. And I think um, Coach O'Leary and his staff do an incredible job when you consider that not only did we end up 10th in the country, but on the academic side, uh, we probably we will end up in the top 15 in the country as far as graduation rates. And the community service that these guys do is is just unbelievable. The hours spent at children's hospitals and children's homes and working with kids. And so what I like to say is that while in a lot of areas we'll be defined by the success we have on the field, ultimately our success will be defined by the community leaders we create. And my hat's off to our staff and these kids because I think that they're gonna make you very proud, not only for what they've done over the last year or season or week, but what they do in this community over their lifetime. So thank you for this opportunity and, and we really appreciate all the support we've received and charge on. Knights fans, you can support UCF's Everyday Champions by joining the Golden Knights Club by calling 407-UCF-2086 or by going online at ucfgoldenknightsclub.com.